Vulture. That's the Vulture was in the alligator one that time. Um, <laughs> Happy I guess I'm gonna take a look around the room. Take a closer look at the trophies. Yeah. Vulture, alligator. Yeah. Uh, Where do you want to go? Alligator. You're looking at the alligator, Ashton. What are you doing? Um. So, there, so there's nothing else in the room. I'm just gonna watch. I'm just gonna watch. Him. I'm just gonna here. watch him. Okay. Oh, she's gonna watch the show. Well, I'm, okay. just, I'm just waiting. For what? Yeah. Because he's never seen an alligator no. before, so that's why you would go look at it. He's pretty messed up. I waited to explore another room. Oh, okay. Although he saw alligators earlier, but he's never been able to get like this close to one. Yep. Look at it. There it is. It looks like it's looking right at you. The guy who ever did the eyes did a pretty good job. Hmm. You're like... And I kind of circle around to the side and kind of just touched a bit. Yep. It's... Falling apart. It just like crumbles when I touch it. It doesn't really crumble, but it's like gooshy. You know what I mean? Like it's so old that when you push on it, it's just like a few scales fall off, um, and whatever it's filled with is not very solid. Like <laughs> you see the vulture as he's about to turn around. As he's looking at the alligator, the vulture starts to like move its wings, like aggressively. Nigel, get away. Watch it. Watch it. You have no idea what she's talking about. Sure. What do you do? Like, is she pointing or is... No, she just yelled, Nigel, get away. Get away. Yeah, I'll run back towards her. <laughs> okay, you run back towards her. You're like, what? What? <laughs> the bird, it was moving. So I look back at the bird. It looks just exactly the way it looked before. It's obviously not alive. I'm going to walk back. I'm going to walk toward it. What? <laughs> Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Mm -mm. Poke its beak. Doesn't happen. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> is it like sitting? Is it like mounted to something, or uh -huh. is it just like sit? Okay. No, it's mounted on the wall. Oh, it's mounted on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I my okay. Break the beak. <laughs> you okay, Miss? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Just not enough light in the room. No, I'm a couple windows. Yeah, I guess we'll. Okay, where are you going? I don't know. Yes, just next door. Wow, wow. Where? Here? Yep, okay. Lower. You got it. Oh, wait, you can still see. Oh, Cat Thulu. You can still see the white. There's just like some weird graffiti scratch in the floor. Boop, 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 boop. You need to make a silly color cooler. And a cat appears. It's huge. Murders you. This room looks like all the others. Dusting and hauntingly uninviting. Um, there's a door, slightly ajar, um, up in the corner. Um, in all other respects, it is completely ordinary. Okay, you go in the room, you look around. Where are you going? Uh, I'm checking the door. Uh, you go over to the door. Uh, it opens into the room. You pull it open. There's a stairwell going down. Uh, there's a door closed at the bottom. Oh, the other staircase. Then somebody shoves you from behind. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wait, down what the stairs? Do I see? Down the stairs. You see nothing. You see he's over there looking at the door and he goes... You went uh, down the stairs? Holy shit. Wait, that's where you saw the shadow earlier. Yeah, it's like as soon as I just realized that, I was like, oh, it's this staircase. Oh. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Make it dex times five. We'll give you that. Something shoved you in the back. Oh. Down he goes down the stairs. <laughs> Take a point of damage. I hear Splitters this. Splitters and bruises. Sure. Make a listen check. It's on the other end of the house. Oh, you're right. Uh, no. <laughs> Crash! There's a the door at the bottom. Yeah. Wait, the door open? No, no, it's closed. So he just goes bam. Yeah, he crashes into the door at the bottom. Bam! You yeah, just saw him. He did it like this. He did one of these. He goes. Ah. He goes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, there's a bad step or something at the top. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna oh, go there. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Nick. 
Did you shove me down the stairs? Ah. Okay, you're heading down the stairs. Go ahead, keep rolling. Do you need oh, a nurse? She's not there. Did you see anything behind me, or did you shove me down the stairs? <laughs> Why would I shove you down the stairs? I don't know. I just felt like something hit me. And Good role play. Uh, you didn't see anything. They didn't see anything. You're just in that hump, like in a heap at the yeah. bottom there, yeah. against the wall. Like, clutching my head. And okay. Oh, you get the bitch. I'll hold him up. Okay. Go down the stairs. You're back up on your feet. Back Where up you on feet. Yep. You back up the stairs. Okay, you guys go back up the steps to the top. Um, I'm going to shut the door. <laughs> okay, boom, it's closed. You don't have it. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess kind of look towards the door. Okay, as you're looking towards, towards the door, you guys hear a creak. Oh. The door to the steps behind you is opening very slowly. Nope. Yeah. Bye. Turn around and tell that shit to get the. And you guys walk out of the room as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, where are you going next? The next one uh, opens into a tiny, musty chamber that shows some signs of attempted repair. Cracked fixtures have been replaced, floors retiled, and walls painted. Um, it's obviously been done within the last few years. There's a large and bulky water pump here. Um, there you go. Take another bathroom. Mm -hmm. Can I check the water pump? There's a mirror. There's a cracked mirror over the sink. You're checking the pump and what? Checking the pump to see if they work. Yeah, you uh, you have to pump it for a while before some water starts to trickle out into the receiving basin. Uh, it stinks. The water smells really bad. Small water. Small water. Small water. Okay, yeah, that's good enough for me. I'm just going to check out the next room. All right. And this last room looks like it is the best kept of them all. It's obviously, uh, it's obvious Brandon Young must have stayed here. And has been it was been thoroughly cleaned within the last few years. Um, though three years time has done its work. There are two huge beds in the room, plus a dresser and a nightstand for each. There uh, is a bedroll. There's some clothes, a wallet, um, canned food, as well as what appears to be some once fresh food now mold. Uh, there's a backpack. Um, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to go check the backpack out. All right. The backpack has a letter from Ezekiel Rosenwald uh, informing Brandon of his inheritance. Uh, it's dated 1924. His inheritance. Mm-hmm. Um, Does it say who it's from? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Um, apparently Rebecca Harlow, um, Harlow's day. it's noted that, uh, in 1908, uh, the news of her death reached Boston and he was named heir, last heir to the Harlow estate. Um, yeah, uh, but apparently from the paperwork, it doesn't appear that he actually took, took, got this information until 1924 or maybe didn't pick it up until 1924. There's also a notebook. Looks like someone uh, kept some kind of a journal. Dun dun dun. Well, it's my better judgment. I don't think I'm going to read it. There you go. Oh, well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, much room. Oh. So this room looks like it was taken better care of than any of the others in the house right now. Andy, what am I doing? It's been a while. You're looking through books in the library. Seriously? Nothing unusual is still? happening to you, yeah? I'm done with this one shelf after I'm done with it. Okay, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Here, here's the... I'm going to try to look for them. I don't here's the lower to go. floor of the house. Because oh, yeah. you're fairly familiar I'm with I'm right here. I'm like... Correct. Okay. Virgil goes with I'm you. not going this way, so I'll probably go like that way. Well, you know there's steps that go up here as well. You know they were going upstairs. He yeah. said we we're going to okay. go upstairs. So yeah, you I'm can go, go up the nearest stairs, which is right here. Yeah, which back will stairs. Come out here. Which comes out right here. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah. just looking at one of those squares. Yep. There's right. a couple doors back here. Um, several doors here are open. Uh, this door is actually closed. These doors are open. This door, these two doors are closed. Uh, On the peak in here, see if they're there. Nope. 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 What is this that's, again? That's the nursery. Oh, one of the. Um, yeah, there you go. That's that room. The nursery. Yeah, uh, something is moving in one of the cribs. I look at the crib. Uh, you have to actually walk over to closer to it because all the cribs are like on this wall. Virgil got behind me, right? Yeah, well, uh, sure. As far as you know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he better be. <laughs> he's close to you, yes. He's keeping an eye out. He's got his hand in his pocket again. Do I still see it moving? What kind of moving is it? It's like a baby moving? Yeah, um, it's kind of like a. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it looks like uh, something's moving in there. It's hard to tell. Virgil, do you see that? Hmm? That thing moving in that crib. Is that something moving? Or yeah, there is something moving in there. Yeah. Should we look at it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like nervously, nervously. You <laughs> grab nervously. it like an army dragon with Yeah, you. I'm just like. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's a baby in the crib. It's all happy. And, stuff. and then the skin melts off his bones Wait, and really? it turns into it. For real? Horns come out of his head and he reaches for you and then he vanishes. Sandy, check. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm alright. Virgil's not. <laughs> the who's that? Oh, we only lost one. I'm still like. He is stepping back and drawing his pistol. And you shrieked. Okay, and then it's gone. And like a that? blink of an eye. Uh, I make listen to <laughs> I knew it was yes. demons. You guys both heard a shriek and a cry from a nearby room. Somewhere on this side of the house. You're not sure exactly where. Uh, does it like sound like it's, it was like a quick it was or quick. Was holy? Okay. It wasn't like, ah, oh my god, it's in me! <laughs> it's just a whoa kind of uh, thing, okay. like a startled shriek. Well, I'm rushing out the okay. room. What do you want to do, Ashton? Virgil follows you. He's going. Um, he doesn't. Well, she he's closing the doors behind you. She shrieked before, and it was just a painting reference. Right. So he's pulling the doors closed behind you too. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'm like, Virgil, I don't know where this cousin. So where's the next open door? Well, here? you could call for him. I'm not about to yell in this house after seeing that. Okay, he's following behind you. You're going back through the. This is open, right? Or was yeah, that was open. This was open. Open, open. Did you guys close the door to this? No, vine room is open. I'm not peeking here because that's like. Just a wrecked bathroom. Yeah, it's the okay. old bathroom. And then I'm going through. This door here was closed. I'm not going through. I'm not going through any closed doors. <laughs> okay. Even um, though I want something in here, but I'm not doing it because it's not what she do. You don't even know what's in there. So. Yeah, I do know what's room. in there. That door is open. I know what's in there. That's why I'm not going in there. Right. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Oh. That door's open. Yeah, I'm looking at it. You here. can see there's a lot of vines and stuff in that room. There could be somebody around the corner here. I'm going to feed. Okay. Uh, there doesn't, nope, nobody's in there. All right, what about this corner? <laughs> Is that uh, okay? Somebody would have to be literally trying to hide from you to be hiding from you. Okay. Corner. Unless you want to move, like, Damn. all the way over here and look. You no. could do that. Okay. okay. So, oh, then oh, I'm oh, going to go this way. <laughs> Is this open? Uh, that no. door, those this, two doors are open, was. they appear to open into those, yeah, all those double doors are open, yeah. there's a door to your right. Did you guys leave the door to the stairway, the curved stairway open? Mm, no, I would have shut that one. Okay, there's this closed door, uh, there's an open door here. What is that? I'm assuming okay. you guys are leaving most of the doors behind I've been, you open, I've been right? leaving, like, all the room doors open, but, right. like, the staircase okay. doors I've been shut right. Right, right, right. Okay, so all of this is open. Correct. Yeah. So I'm going to be like, what's in here? Is it just another there's open a, door? There's like a, the narrow, short corridor that leads to another open door. <laughs> yeah, that's the alligator, stuffed alligator, stuffed buzzard room. Okay. I'm just like, alright, they're not in here. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Um, what was it? What is this? Okay. That's a bedroom. Um, a actually, you notice this door over here closes. It's like, what? What is weird shit? Always it sounds like, somebody, uh, sounds like somebody's going down the stairs. Uh, yeah, somebody, you can hear somebody going down the stairs. That must be them. I know, I'm like, it might be, but I don't want to get pushed down the fucking stairs, player knowledge. Don't use player knowledge. I know, I'm just like... That's got to be them. There's somebody walking down the steps. I swear to God, if I get pushed down the fucking stairs. Put it 
only sounds like one person, right? It's hard to tell. There's a wall between you and the stairs. It's not like you're standing at the top of the stairs. I'm sure you can hear a little more. Well, could it have been Make me a listen check. <sighs> I don't want to go. If you insist on a roll. Well, no. <laughs> you failed? Yeah. Okay. It sounds like it could be two people. Could be. Like mm -hmm. two. Come on, use that. Don't use that player knowledge to your disadvantage. Hate it. No, I don't want to. That must be them. I run over, fling the door open. Guys. <laughs> well. Oh well. You don't have to do that. I'm just thinking. Yeah, but like I'm thinking, because I haven't heard any creakings yet, other than. No, no, it's been very quiet. Yeah. You guys have been standing very still as you read that book. Right that. You read it over his shoulder, right? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna like open the door. Ah, uh, it's a dark stairwell. There's nobody in it. Close the door. Uh, close. Maybe they're not there. I'll check this last room. <laughs> there they wait, are. Wait, or is this? I'm gonna check this one first. Uh, bathroom. Bath wait, bathroom? Yes, there's a bathroom. The Six years. Looks like it's been right repaired. Now. Um, there's there's some a smell. Uh, mirror. You can check out your hair. Crack mirror. Good. Correct me, I hope. Yeah, well, it seems to seem to crack. Oh, hey, go. And you find them there. I searched every room. Hey, girl, hey. Okay. I probably look noticeably bothered after seeing Virgil's that. Virgil's eyes are still kind of wide, too. That was weird. All right, what are you guys doing? The party's together again. It has upstairs exploration maybe took you guys half an hour. You really didn't stop in any of the rooms. You just kind of quick looked at stuff. And that took you probably five, ten minutes to read, and that's about its top. So it's probably two thirty in the afternoon. So, mm. is there anything else in this room? Uh, no. There's the beds. There's um, um, dresser and a nightstand for each bed. Um, it's in one of the dressers that you found all the Brandon stuff. Apparently, all the food and the bedroll and all that stuff. Uh, the backpack. Um, the notebook. So the only thing in the backpack was the notebook. And a couple of windows in this room are actually still intact, surprisingly. At least some of the panes are in some of the windows. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, federal closed wallet. There is a wallet. It does have Brandon's driver's license in it. Uh, Massachusetts books like a library card with his name on it. Um, $4. Um, well, he ain't using it. <laughs> in your, in your, I always were looking for this. Anyway, what do you guys want to do? Oh man, I know this library. <laughs> no, you don't. It's in Boston. It's in yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh yeah, you do know that library, yeah. It's one of the Boston Public Library. There are still two stairwells you haven't examined going upward. Um, little closets in the back you haven't looked at. They're probably just linen closets or something. That's it. That's it. That's it. We should go down and, like, I guess, eat, regroup. <laughs> you can. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, back down to go to the, the foyer. There is, um, yeah, here, just do this. There's the downstairs. So you guys go back to the foyer. All your gear is still there. Nothing's missing. Uh, the front doors are closed again. Didn't notice that. That's interesting. Anyway, they were open last you saw. Uh, I heard something in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not going in there again. I'm going to take the, you said there's a small table next to the, Door here. There's a yeah. small yeah. There's a small table next to the door. Yes. I'm gonna open one of the doors up and like move the table over and like kind of yeah, prop it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. You do that. It's propped open now. What do you want for lunch? Food. Well, are you gonna go for like cold lunch, like cold beans or some yeah. preserves? Well, it is kind of hot. So. Canned cheese or spam or something? Um, yeah. Are you gonna cook something? You do, yeah, there's that kerosene stove, but you don't have to use it. You didn't bring provisions to make like sandwiches and stuff, because you could have spoil real quick in the humidity. Yeah. Um, but you do have like plenty of food, so uh, you guys can make a quick and dirty lunch, yeah. eat some canned cheese and uh, some Spam, something like that, just enough to kind of fill you up. It's none of it great, but it's food. Like I said, it's hot. It's drink hot some hot water, hot. drink yeah. some water, rehydrate. Uh, yeah. Did you hang on to that notebook? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is it? Is it in your is it in your coat? Yeah, I just looked in my coat pocket. Okay, so it's tucked away. I'm taking a nice long drag. <laughs> <laughs> so 
smoking a cigarette. That's yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> what? Virgil doesn't smoke. Did not realize that. Oh, uh, he did strap on his belt a very large bayonet once you guys uh, were uh, got to, like, on the boat. Huh. Just FYI, I'm going to retro that in because he owns one and he doesn't know how to use it. So. Huh. so it's not as big as your machete, but it's, like, yeah. it's a good size. Just FYI. Yep. Uh, you guys eat. What are you doing? It's roughly 3 in the afternoon by that point. You have lunch, you drink some water. I'd kind of like to go and check the, I guess, up. The stairwell there. The higher, yeah. I guess, third floor or whatever it leads yeah. up to. Yeah, you guys go back, do you all go together was to it, this? Was it dark when we looked up the stairs? Um, there was, like, see. no wind. You said there was, like, light. Yeah. Kind of like some light. There's light, at the, the there, there's light at the end up here, too. Okay. And this had a lot of spider webs, but you're the only one who's seen that coming. The Baxter. Yeah. I, I, I don't go as far. Yeah, who's, is everybody going to go to that one? I don't want to be alone, so yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Virgil's going to stay with you. Oh, well, yeah, but I want to be in a big group. Yeah, the uh, steps are going up. They're fairly narrow. Uh, they curve upward. And the reason for them curving actually becomes fairly clear um, after a very short time. And that's because, um, here we can just open this up. Um, these actually go up to the ground floor of the cupola. Uh, cupola. Cupola. It is a, it's almost like a tower with windows all the way around it. Oh, right. um, the ornate tower stands in the center of the roof overlooking the rest of New Dunwich. The room is silent and empty, save for the by now expected dust and webs, as well as a broken ladder lying in a splintered heap in the center of the floor. Directly above the ladder in the center of the ceiling is a man-sized hole. Uh, the ceiling is 13 feet above. Um, it looks like this ladder probably used to go up to a second upper floor of the cupola. Cupola. Wait, so there's a hole in the ceiling? Yes. It looks like there was a ladder right in the middle of the oh, room that but okay. the ladder broke. The ladder's <laughs> broken. Like, and it's laying through or something. No, like no, no. That. No, no, no. It's like a it's a built hole. And then there's like a broken ladder on the floor of uh, on the ground. Uh, yeah. so just messed up. Oh, that's grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has a grappling hook. Somebody could it. potentially get up there if they climbed on someone else's shoulders and pulled themselves up. Eh, okay. You want to take another call? I can I shh, you don't know that happens. I'm not asking him that. Stay careful. Yeah. I actually want to climb up there, so I'm gonna do okay. I guess Virgil. You're a big guy though. Virgil will help you. Yeah. Alright, um climb check. In order to get up there. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a climb check. We'll do a climb check. <laughs> jump jump check. Oh no. No, no. failed. Somehow. Oh the jump is a big climb. Ninety nine. Roll the ninety nine okay. uh, up you go. And um you're just about to grab, you misjudge when you grab, like, to pull yourself up, and you overbalance yourself and you crash to the ground. Um, yeah. Make me a dex times five. If you fail, you take one point of damage from the fall, otherwise you're fine. It just hurts. You can make, you take a point of damage from the fall, you crash on your face. Basically, you come, boom, you knock the breath out of yourself. It's going to take you, like, five minutes before you be able to try something. You know what I mean? Are, are you okay, Nigel? <laughs> yeah. He's doing like that. Um, have you guys ever had the breath knocked out of you? Been like yeah. punched hard in the stomach or fallen really far on your chest? Yeah, I did it once. I was in my 30s. I've never done it until then. It's awful. You feel like you're going to fucking die. Did not like breathe. it. <laughs> yes, you can't breathe at all. Um, okay, so it's five or ten minutes before you're able to kind of calm yourself. Your body finally decides to allow you to breathe normally again. It's weird. I don't know why that happens. It's so creepy. Uh, okay. And you're fine, aside from yeah, a bad bruise. I'm going to try it again. Try it again. Make me a climb check. Just like okay. Don't roll another 99. Okay, made it that time. Okay. Uh, you managed to get up. You grab the top. Uh, you pull yourself up. Um, Jesus. A rotted, severed rope is tied to the very top of the cupola, swinging mournfully oh, in the breeze. What? Uh, what? What is it? Uh, <laughs> There's what? a rope. Oh. Hanging up there. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Is that there's, um, oh my God, the only so other object that you see in the cramped little chamber is a beaten but serviceable telescope, which is trained kind of to the, oh wait, let me find my maps. Don't look at it. Don't it's trained to the Looking south. Aliens? Um, yeah, you played some Silent Hill. Um, 
And there's a man standing next to it. Stupid. Wait, there's somebody on the telescope? He just points to the, teles points to the telescope, and then he disappears. Do I recognize him? Uh, might have been your cousin. Make a sanity check. No. Nope. No. Nope. You just take one point of sanity. It was like, Gigi. um. You're like, dude, what's that man? And then he's gone like, what? You hear him say, Brandon. What? You guys can't really see what's going on up there at all. Because the hole is just about maybe three feet wide. And he pulled himself up and kind of dragged himself to one side. Then you heard the shout of Brandon. Moments later. He's gone. I'm going to look through the telescope. You hear somebody walking around up there. Like carefully moving around. Uh, you peek through the telescope. Jesus. What are they? Are they? There are cops in that. Some it's car trucks. I can't. I don't know. Those car trucks. Was it? Was it? Look like a car trucks. Nice car. I hope my house isn't burning down. <laughs> that would worry me. Oh, it's fine. We have to break up soon. All right. We'll finish this up and I'll, well, if the house is burning down, he's not going to answer. Dad's home alone right now, so. Anyway, uh, you peek through the, and you see a large, dark, monstrous form hulking amid the cypress and Spanish moss. Wait, what? In the telescope, there's a hole. The gross, loathsome, loathsome form does not move, but the grime encrusted telescope does not allow for any clear detail. It's due south. So it's not faced that like a telescope would be. No, it's facing, facing down into the swamp. Where'd that other map go that you guys had in the village? Oh, well, Is that right? Is that? Yeah, I'm going to over here. It's over here somewhere. Huh. You're also. Okay, what else do you want to do? Anything? Well. Uh, like it's not moving at all. It doesn't like. No, it doesn't move at all. Let's go talk to it. Hey. Uh, there's nothing else up here. It is bright daylight. No, you can. There's a lot of windows. Some of them are broken. Uh, it is bright daylight. Um, you can make out um from the cupola. You can make out what appears to be a little garden house, and a well back in uh. Back in the swampy area. Just FYI. You hear him walking around up there. Oh. What's up there? So, I'll tell you when I come down. Just hold on a second. I'm All trying right. to get like a really good look at this thing. Like I don't quite know that it's, I'm seeing. The it. telescope is old. It's not in great shape. Uh, you're getting a blurry. It's grind. It's covered in grime. It's that kind of grime that's not going to come off. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and it's just a, in bad shape, and you're not getting a clear view. You just know kind of the direction that it is, and it's out back there in the swamp somewhere. Not terribly far. I mean, it's looking, it's not like the horizon or anything like that. It's yeah. probably a few hundred yards away, maybe. Can I see it just like looking out the window? No, no. It's just, uh, oh. you can't make it out looking out the window. It's a pretty powerful telescope. Okay. Well, like I, I said, I'll... you would guess it was, where's the town? And you would guess it was over here somewhere, and you guys are. I guess I'm just going to climb back down. Okay. Virgil helps you down. Boom. <coughs> you land what, solidly on the first floor of the cupola. Cupola, cupola. I don't know how to pronounce it. There's a telescope up there, but not much else. <laughs> well, I thought that too, and then I looked through it and saw it. Well, actually, I don't know what I saw. What it looked like? Some big shape. I mean, it could have just been the trees, like the leaves of the trees.